Oh boy, I am Sam. And it's time to, oh, come on, Billy. Reconsider this. Wait, what, what did Billy do? No, Sam. Kevin got me in trouble at school today. He has to pay. Billy, you stuck gum in his hair. You had it coming. What? I had to put my gum somewhere. Wait, which one's Billy? Just help me egg his house, okay? Let's give him a dot, 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 because that's always funny. Nothing to say, huh? Fine. But I'm still doing it. Uh oh. Wait, did he just do it? Oh. Did this kid... Oh. Okay, so he throws really fast. I'm going to check my mail. Wait. What am I supposed to do? Hey... Let me just block him. Oh. <gasps> oh. Uh, Billy. What What did you just do? Just run. That's actually a good idea. Oh, he dropped gum. Oh, crap. So, we just burned down. Is this Kevin right here? Uh-oh. <gasps> Kevin. Oh. Sorry, Kevin. We uh, murdered your sister. Well, I didn't do anything. Just going to point that out. Whoa. VNN? House goes up in flames. Breaking news. We're live on the scene where a small home here in Bloxville has went up in flames. We've got word that the body of one woman has been recovered from the house. Okay, so we are murderers. Her identity is unknown at this moment. The cause of the fire is currently unknown, but an investigation will be launched after the fire has been put out. Truly a tragic event. Okay, so we killed Kevin's sister or mom. Oh, 20 years later, night one. Wait, what? Hello? Oh. It's really dark, but this kid's got tattoos. Oh, yeah, he's got tattoos. Man, that fire really did a number on this house. Yeah, it's a shame we never found out what caused the fire. Sam just says nothing. Billy says nothing. Anyways, let's scope out the scene. I'm still distraught. I can't believe you convinced me to join you in this. What? You don't want to make it big on blocks, tube? Do you have any idea how much views channels that explore abandoned places get? We can film here all we'd like, fake all the stuff we want, and all the morons who view it will eat it up. Okay, this developer has issue with uh, YouTubers. You're just jealous, bro. You're right. We can make it big doing this. Yeah, Sam. I'm always right. Whatever. Let's get on with it, says the murderer. Oh, so the door survived? All right. Well, here we are. Whoa. Is this game like... Is this just a movie, not a game? Look at this place. I'm sold. This is the perfect place for our videos. Is this going to be like a haunted house, actually? I'm with you on that. This is going to be awesome, says Steven. No one knows who he is, even though he's got headphones on and wearing sunglasses at night. I don't know, guys. I think I want to take a look around first. Whatever. Just meet us outside when you're done and don't take too long. Wait. They're, they're waiting outside for me? Oh. Okay, so I'm just gonna look around by myself, okay. Um, all right, so we got a house. This house supposedly burned down, even though the refrigerator, I don't know what that is. We got some broken windows and um, a smiley. What am I looking for? Just anything, right? I'm just clicking. Fun dungeon. Oh, let's enter. What? Why is this labeled the fun dungeon? You suddenly feel very uneasy. Leave this house. No, I don't listen to anyone but myself. So I'm going to stay. I'm going to go in here. What's this? Can I jump on the bed? So the bed survived. Um, okay. Well, I don't think there's anything else for me to find. Can I go in the fun dungeon, please? Hello? I'm trying to open up these cabinets. Okay, I have no choice. I guess I'll leave because I want to, not because the developer wants me to. It's, I'm doing it because I want to. Hello, idiots. So, what do you think? I like it. This was a great place to pick. Glad we could all come to an agreement. Then it's settled. This will be our filming location. Steven, remember to bring your camera tomorrow. We'll all meet here tomorrow night at this time for our first video. So they're gonna learn that YouTube isn't as easy as they think it is. Later that night, must know What's in basement? Why are you dreaming about that? Billy! Steven! What's in the basement? Am I in a dream right now? I think I'm dreaming. Can I leave, please? Wake me up. I cannot wake up, so I'm just going to go straight to the fun dungeon. Because it says fun, that means it must be really fun. Here we go, kids. 
into the fun dungeon. Hmm. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna get pulled in. Yep, that was the most obvious thing ever. <laughs> I just know that because I play a lot of horror games. Go to my other channel and you'll see the really fun horror games. Oh, there's a sword. Oh. I'll feel safer with this knife. Night number two. Wait, so what do we do during... Oh, okay, I'm done. Well, tonight is the night. Ready, Steven? Yup, let's get this show on the road. Sam? I'm ready to stab whatever's in the fun dungeon. Yep, let's do this. Awesome. Glad to hear you're on board with us. Now, let's head inside... I agree, that's a good idea. Okay, I'll stand over here and deliver an opening for the video. Sam, go find something to make some noise with. I think we can convince people that this place is haunted. After you hear me mention the dead occupants of the house, make the noise. Okay, that's really stupid. You would do that in post-production. Stupid idiot has no idea how to be a YouTuber. Freaking moron. All right, let's find something to break. Can I break the wall? Oh, should I pound on this wall to produce a sound? Yes, this should work. Hello, internet. Tonight we're in an abandoned house that burned down due to... Oh, wait, this is not how YouTubers talk. Uh, hello, internet. <laughs> Rumor has it that the ghost of a mother is still haunt this very place. In fact, I've hit... Whoa! Uh, as you can see, the spirits aren't happy with our presence. So we'll leave it off here for tonight and return tomorrow. Don't forget to like and sub. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, that video was 38 seconds. Was he making a short? Those are cringe. Well, I'd say that was a successful first night. Great work. I'm just going to encourage Sam for everything because he's clearly a murdering narcissist. Steven, it's not that hard to pound on a wall. Still, Billy. Sam deserves credit. Anyways, let's bounce. Uh, let's all meet here tomorrow night at the same time. Yeah, they're all coming here to film a 30 second short. I think I'll show up a bit earlier than you two. I've got some stuff I'd like to set up. Sounds good. All right, so we're going back home. Night number three, it's bloody red. So what do you think Steven wanted to set up? No clue. He probably just wanted to set up more cameras or something. Oh, did you see how many views our video got? Wait, you already uh, posted it? Uh, no, I didn't tell me. No, how many did we get? Get this, we got over 3,000 views. That's actually really good for your first video. We're gonna make so much money off this. Anyways, let's not keep Steven waiting. Guy thinks he's so cool. Steven, where is he? Ugh, he better not have chickened out. We need him if this is going to work. No, you don't. You just need a phone. Surely he's here somewhere. So we just got to agree with uh, just, you know, let him run the show. He wouldn't have canceled without telling us, right? He's got to be here somewhere. He's probably murdered. Yeah, let's see if we can find him. Or maybe he's in the fun dungeon. All right, let's go find Steven. Just going to go straight to the fun dungeon because I just really want to go down there. Like, that's all. I just want to... Wait, hello? Dude, I can't go in the fun dungeon. Swag. This is what kids write on the wall. Well... He's really not here. Unless. Yeah, here we go. To the fun dungeon. This is the only reason I came back here at night three. You don't think you'd go down there, do you? There's only one way to find out. Uh, did I, did I bring my knife? Hello? Hello? Steven? Are you down here? Steven! Quit messing with us. Get out where we can see you. Billy, I don't like this. Let's just get out of here and call the police. See, so he, Billy's gonna get mad because I started to try to tell him what to do. No, Sam, we'll find him ourselves. Let's check out the rooms down here. Maybe he's in one of them. Yeah, so Billy's a typical narcissist. It's his way or the highway. Look for any clues as to where Steven went. So yeah, with people like Billy, you just, um, you just be, you just go, okay, Billy, that sounds cool. And then you run away. They're like, yeah, Billy, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, you're so smart. Okay, and never talk to me again. Bye. Oh, look, pick up Steven's headphones. Are these Steven's headphones? <gasps> Put them on. See what kind of music he's listening. Okay, you know what? I think Billy stabbed me, actually. If I, I think I saw some tattoos. So everything I've said is correct. But Billy, what's going on? Wait, he's tied up too. 
Oh good, you're finally awake. Don't worry about him. He's knocked out. He can't hear you. Who are you? Allow me to reintroduce myself, Sam. Oh, reintroduce. Oh, it's Kevin. So, Sam, do you remember me now? Kevin? Is, is that you? Yes, Sam. It's me, Kevin. I apologize for what I had to do just now. Billy and I have some unfinished business, and I couldn't let you get in the way. Anyways, I'm getting impatient. Let's wake up our good friend, Billy. Bam, yeah. But what? What's going on? Wait. Kevin, how are you alive? Why am I tied up? You probably thought I died in the fire, didn't you? I wasn't home at the time. I missed the bus, so I had to walk home. My poor mother, however, was home and was trapped inside. She didn't make it out. This photo is all I have left to remember. Okay, sorry. Anyways, we have a lot to talk about. What? Do you remember when you burned my house down? What? You, you have no proof that, that I did that? I don't like liars, Billy. Does this pack of gum look familiar? I found it right outside of my house on the day of the fire. I... Hi! You don't have to say anything. Nothing you say or do will get you out of this. Please, Kevin. It, it was an accident. I never meant for this to happen. It doesn't matter. What you did ruined my life. I couldn't save my mother. I rushed in to try to help her, but the heat was too much. It's how I got this horrible burn on my face. Oh, I thought that was his hair. She was the only person I had in my life, and you took her away from me. I never got over her death, so I spent the last 20 years living living in this basement, figuring out how I could track you down and get my revenge. It finally paid off though. You were foolish enough to come here yourself. And now justice can finally be served. Who, what, what are you gonna do to us? You're going to share the same fate as my mother. I'm going to set this place on fire and you're going to burn alive. Come on, Kevin. <laughs> you gotta think about this. <laughs> do you really want to kill us? I've had 20 years to think about this, Billy. Karma has finally caught up with you. Oh. Goodbye, Billy. Goodbye, Sam. I wish it didn't have to be this way. Bam. Oh, no. Gasoline. Sam, we have to get out of here. Um, okay. Good thing I brought my knife. That's right. <laughs> Let's cut it. Oh, yeah. Cut through the rope. Can you cut any slower, bro? There we go. Sam. Get me out of here! Alright, so you're a narcissist. I'm gonna leave you, because you're a bad person. So, goodbye, bro. You left Billy to die. That's right, I did. He's a loser. There goes Kevin. Kevin! It's over, Sam. I got my revenge on Billy. This can end here. You'll never have to see me again. Uh, yeah, you can go. <laughs> you, you killed the nurse? It's okay. Just get out of here. Hmm. All right, well, that's one less psychopath in the world. Why did any of this have to happen? Oh. Uh-oh. Wait, am I going to get arrested? Hello? Team Kevin Award. We don't know what happened to Steven. All right, so we got the Team Kevin ending. So let's get some other endings here. I can skip the dialogue by clicking the text. That's really nice. This time I'm going to click, no way, I'm not helping you. Did I click that before? I don't know, but look, over here, I got to uh, grab this rock and then I'm just going to throw it at him. Ow! Sam, what the heck was that for? You weren't listening, Billy. You have to stop. You just hit me with the rock, Sam. You could have seriously hurt me. I'm going home. Okay, so we prevented him from throwing the rock into the window and killing Kevin's mother. And the candle's still there. And why would you put a candle in the window? It'll just get blown out by the wind. Oh, well, here comes uh, Kevin. Ah, home sweet home. Inside he goes. And we got the inadvertent hero award. So that's the second ending. Everyone's alive. The mother doesn't die. Life goes on. Billy probably doesn't turn into a narcissist because he's not a murderer. All right, next ending. Come on. This time we're going to get the, uh, the the question mark ending. So to do that, we're going to help him. Fine, I'll help. Glad you came to your senses. Now take these eggs. But instead of throwing the eggs at the house, just going to throw them at this little bird here. Wait, am I failing? Hello? Okay, so there he goes. We need to get whatever this thing is. Fragment collected one of five. Uh-oh. 
So uh, the narcissist kills Kevin's mother. Billy, what did you just do? Okay, come on, let me skip. He drops the gum. By the way, how did Kevin figure out that's Billy's gum? Did he get it DNA tested? I was kind of wondering that. Yeah, your mom's dead. All right, night number one, 20 years later, I'm in the haunted house and I gotta explore. We gotta get uh, the second key fragment. <sighs> come on, that's I just saw it. Okay, hold on. There we go. Pick up a fragment. Two of five collected. And now let's pound on the fun dungeon. All right. Now I'm having this like crazy dream. And this ending's like really, really, uh, yeah. I don't know how people actually figure this out. I have to pick up this pipe. Hello. Pick it up. Thank you. And then I have to break a window somewhere. Is it here? Yeah. So break that one. Sneak out. And it's like out here somewhere. Where is it? Here it is. Thank you. Three of five. I think I have to go back inside. Hello. And then we go to the fun dungeon. Why would you turn around like that? Oh, stupid kid. All right, night number two. I head inside. Where's the TV? It's over here. And back here is fragment number four. And now we just got to get to night number three in the basement. Oh, wait, this is where the uh, the headphones are. There they are. Okay, come on, Kevin. Get on with it. Yeah, kill him, Kevin. Yeah. Okay, so now I have to cut through the rope. Oh, yeah. But it takes forever because I'm weak. And uh, I got to find the last fragment. I think it's over here. There it is. So I got five of five. I walk through the fire and I cut Billy free. Now let's get out of here. Oh, Kevin, you're not escaping. You two couldn't just die, could you? You couldn't have just let justice be served. Maybe I didn't get my revenge tonight, but mark my words. One day justice will be served and you'll both be dead. Now I want to let him go because I'm not a murderer. Just get out of here. Hmm. He runs off. Why did any of this have to happen? Sam, how could you just let him go? Look at this freaking murderer. I couldn't bring myself to hurt him. He was our friend. Okay, so that is the, the pacifist and the question mark award. So we got two endings. Ooh, is this a key or bones? It's a key. And the key magically goes into this door. And let's, oh, oh, is that, um, I already forgot his name, Steven. I think that's Steven. To be continued. So we actually got two endings, uh, in one. Steven remains trapped in the basement. <laughs> okay, on to the next ending. Come on. Okay, let's be a girl this time. We're gonna try to kill everybody. First things first, we're gonna help. Whip out the egg and throw it at the candle because, you know, we want to, uh, set the house on fire. Come on, just gotta get a jump attack. Ooh, that one was close. Bro, how am I missing that candle? Oh. Oh, no. So, Billy is always the murderer. Goodbye, mother. Okay, now I have to skip all the way to the basement. Cringe. Oh, my gosh. Finally made it down here. Okay. So, it's really important that we pick up Steven's headphones, which are right here. And then now, I run my auto clicker to help me skip all this text. Come on, auto clicker. Thank you so much. I once again have to cut through the rope. And I'm going to say goodbye to Billy. You're an idiot. And I'm going to head up the stairs. So I leave Billy to die. And now I'm going to kill Kevin. He doesn't deserve to live. So, uh, yeah, kill Kevin. I'm sorry, Kevin. But I can't let you get away with what you just did. So, oh, we throw it. Oh, right through his nose. That is an amazing shot. Why did any of this have to happen? Popo's coming. Completed in 831. That's the Warmonger Award. Everyone is pretty much dead. We don't know where Steven is. Bro, I missed a speedrunner by one second. Oh my gosh, 831. What a joke. That's so annoying. I'll do that later. Let's do the rescued ending now. All right, let's go with the, uh, the girl again. This time, we're not going to help Billy, so no way. And now I got to skip all the way to the basement. Uh, I'm going to try to speedrun, actually. Finally made it to the basement. Let's pick up the headphones. Very important. And now the auto clicker is just running constantly. Oh, come on, come on. I might even get the speed run here. But we have to listen to this idiot talk for 10 minutes. All right, come on, Kevin. Thank you. So now all I got to do is uh, just do nothing. I cut myself free. And then I just kind of walk around and uh, explore, have a good time. I think Steven's in here. It's like boarded up. Okay, well, maybe he's in here. I don't know. Oh, okay. So I just get consumed. Oh, I hear beeping. I'm in the hospital. Oh, <gasps> huh? I'm alive? I look perfect. Oh, good. You're finally awake. Wait, is this Kevin? Oh, no, it's just a nurse. Nurse Adams. Hi, I'm Nurse Adams. Oh, my auto clicker's running. Sorry. One of your friends dropped you off here last night. You said you were in need of immediate medical touch or something about fire. Billy? 
Was his name Billy? He didn't say. He dropped you off. All we know about him was that he had this really bad burn mark. Oh, that's Kevin. Anyway, you don't seem to have any significant injuries. Okay, you know what? I want to get the speed run. So, yeah. Oh, we have a, a recording to listen to. Hello, Sam. If you're hearing this, it means you've woken up in the hospital. As you've probably already figured out, I'm the one who brought you there. It wouldn't have been fair to let you die to something Billy caused. Speaking of him, he's done. Burnt to a crisp. As for your other friend, I'm not sure where he is now. I left him in one of the rooms in the basement, but chances are he's dead by now as well. Anyways, this will be the last time you ever hear from me. You won't ever see me again, and I suggest not looking for me either. I did what I had to do. Now let me live out the rest of my life fulfilled. The monster who killed my mother is gone. Goodbye, Sam. I wonder if the police listen to that. 813, baby. Got the, the rescued award and the speedrunner award. Two in one. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to do the perished ending. It's literally the same ending as the last one, except in the beginning here, I help him egg the house. So let's help him. Yeah, die, Kevin's mom. <laughs> we're going to kill you. That's what we're here. We're actually, we're going to murder you. Kevin's mom, we're murdering you. We are murderers. Guys, this video is taking me hours. Please subscribe. So I cut through the rope and then I just uh, take too long down here. I play in the fire. Hey, don't worry, Billy. I'm going to help you free, uh, get free, okay? Just hold. Oh, crap. Sorry, Billy. I was too slow. Seven minutes. That was really fast. I'm getting good. So Sam died. Billy died. Kevin lived. Stupid Billy. Welcome to Free Disease.